One of the great things we've learned with Atlanta Eats is even if you live a little farther out in the burbs, you're still getting the most unbelievable culinary experiences. And boy, is that the case at historic Roswell Square, where locals are flipping out over a spot that's got sustainable seafood with massive, amazing scallops, fresh trout, beef short ribs, and yes, duck poutine fries. How about the coolest patio and a bar program that would make Buckhead jealous? Let's hang at the mill, kitchen and bar. If you love Roswell, this is the place to be, and apparently Roswell is the place to be. It's got a country feel to it, and, and yet you're in a kind of a dynamic neighborhood where there's a lot going on. Roswell has a lot of different things, one of which is not parking. Big plus is they have their own local parking. I ate with my eyes first, and then my taste buds were in love. I had a party in my mouth. The Mill Kitchen Bar is a quintessential southern cuisine restaurant in Roswell, Georgia. We have an executive chef that focuses on um, southern cuisine with different twists. You know, going into cooking, I, I wanted to do something that, that sticks to my roots, but it's globally influenced. They have comfort food and they have adventure food. I try to do things that, that are adventurous, yet people, when they read it, they want to try it. Chef Daniel's done an amazing job for us, and we change our menu uh, once every quarter, um, and it gives Chef Daniel the creativity that he likes, and he can bring in other elements outside, put a southern twist to it and um, bring it to um, our customers at the Mill Kitchen Bar. So tell me if a place is going to become a neighborhood place, what has to happen? What well, do you need? You, you need good food, you need uh, quality service. Yep. Uh, you need all the elements working together because there's too much competition in the states. I know, in Roswell That's alone. It's, exactly. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. And you got parking here. And you got parking. Like crazy parking, exactly right? right? When I got here, all I heard about was other restaurants. So my goal was, well, I want them to hear about this restaurant. Whatever it takes, I want people to come here. And I think we've accomplished that. Duck poutine fries are the most delicious thing you're ever going to eat. It was on the menu last year, and I got yelled at for taking it off. So as soon as I could, I put it back on. I had the trout. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm a trout fanatic. My husband had shrimp and grits tonight, and it was awesome. Whenever I design a menu, I always ask, is that going to be sustained throughout the entire menu? We change our menu every three months. I had the pan-seared scallops. Scrumptious. I... They added steak to their menu with different selections, and to me, every one I've had is excellent. We're cooking our short rib. It's kind of become a staple. So we have our short rib. It's from Bridges Farm. It's in southern Georgia. So what we simply do is we take it, we salt, pepper, sear it off, high heat. We braise it down in a little bit of braising liquid, which is ancho chilies that we've rehydrated, and we braise it in that for roughly about three, three and a half hours. We serve that over our Tim and Alice's Red Mule Gouda Grits, which is from Athens, Georgia. Uh, we added a little bit of smoked Gouda, our uh, bacon and ham hock braised collard greens, and then we top it off with our house-made barbecue sauce. So there you have it, that's our uh, braised short rib with Tim and Alice's smoked Gouda Grits, ham hock and bacon braised collard greens, top of our house barbecue sauce, and crispy onion rings. It seems like Chef Daniel always knows exactly what kind of flavors I want, and this is like coming home, except with a wonderful twist. The outside, spectacular, uh, with the fireplace going on. You can come in the spring, the summer, the fall, and enjoy the patio with this beautiful fireplace. The patio is a big gathering place for people. People like to sit outside, they like to enjoy their, their meal and their dinner. Eating outside on a nice fall or spring day, that's, that's, it kind of adds to the ambiance. It's a great place to congregate, have some laughs, bring your wine out can't beat it. People are really excited about our brunch menu. We have a lot of lot to offer. We do a crabs benedict, we do a regular eggs benedict, uh, breakfast burritos. We also have a Bloody Mary bar that we offer on uh, Saturdays and Sundays. And then we do have bottomless mimosas on Sundays as well. Well, my husband and I have been to Napa a number of times. So we recognize a lot of the labels here. And that's important. I'm a huge craft beer person, and they just traded out their Miller Lite for some Scofflaw Basement IPA, and it's my favorite. So Janice does an excellent job adjusting with the seasons like the menu does with her cocktails. As far as cocktails, the Old Fashioned is probably my most popular cocktail. For a smoked Old Fashioned, I start with a plank board. I prefer to use maple. It, I think, gives the best flavor to the glass, so we smoke the board and turn the glass upside down and let that smoke 
you know, infuse into the glass. It really adds to the flavor of the old fashioned. Um, and while that's doing that, then I mix the cocktail. Um, I make homemade bitters for it, um, house simple syrup, and I use typically high west double rye. And then once I've stirred it, and I use a king sphere, pour it into the glass, and then I do a flamed orange and a black cherry. And this is our smoked old fashioned. They're mixologists. It's not just like a bunch of people pouring stuff in a cup. So that makes it fun. Oh, well, it was my first time, and I absolutely loved it. I felt like I was at home here. I think that's something that, that my brother and I, you know, wanted to create from the beginning, is we wanted to always have a warm feel to it, where people can come and feel like they're not going out. It's not a sterile environment. And to have a very good experience across the board. Great food, great service. Um, you know, most people are, are hiring a, a, a babysitter to come. They're spending money. They've taken their time out of their day. They've, they've planned this and they don't get many opportunities to do this. So what we try to do is we want to make sure that everybody who leaves here is a satisfied customer. I feel like it's a very cozy, inviting environment. The moment you walk in, just the ambiance, it makes you feel really comfortable and glad you came.